If you previously work with the Vue, you're familiar with the ecosystem. If you're not, you probably will hear a lot of about this. That is ecosystem. It's a unique system to distribute it instance of the objects um, across the scenery. It can be placed on the top of materials, under under object, on top materials, inside you can create a multiple effects. Actually snow and rain effect, it is partial particle, but it is kind of somewhat ecosystem in our area. So let's look and we covered those tutorials through many years. You can find some how we can do in 3D ecosystem, flying um, lights and multiple ways you can do it. But overall, so let's go ahead right now and look what it is. So you'll notice ecosystem can apply through the material editor or you can paint directly. So it's what we're going to look right now. You notice right here we have a button which says paint or creating. So right, if we right click, we open ecosystem painter. And notice again, if we go over, it will give a different object. Paint on a global or paint on selected ecosystem. So it's meaning if we select sphere and we'll start painting, it will paint just right on our sphere. So right here, let's look on our painter when we open. And we have it, the, our paint mode on off. We can select ecosystem instance. So for example, if we paint, but I don't like some instance, I can move it. I can select and move them this way. I can also restrict to select objects. Okay, like right here. So now it will paint only on this object. I also can restrict to selected instance. So if I select specific instance, only those ones I can or remove it. We also have a brush preset. We look on some brush presets in terrain editor. So this way is a little bit different. So we have it populate, which is normal. We have it our eraser. We have a single instance that we need to put it. We also can apply color, modify scale. We can lean plants around. So it's a modification on the plants. We can drag them, move, jatter. So it's a different location. We can also orientate, attract, magnet. We can grid align rake ripple we can lower raise them create cool tornado effect with the plants around and color and scaling so overall first this is painting this erasing single rest it will be how we can affect already populated system so we also can create new brushes or preload so if you open brush you'll notice echo brush have options to create a different type of the effector an effector you can stack them so for example the magnet it will be type of effector attract it will be type of effector so it's how we want to affect ecosystem so we can put them for example we can say let's attract them and position in specific areas so we can add those right here so next we have to populate area effect so we can flow it's how many of them place it scale notice right here we have it kind of arrows so it's saying showing in echo painter so those properties we can allow people to see as they work with a specific brush so flow we can specify color direction from surface if we want to go straight to a normal so lean out ecosystem populate rules so this has allowed us to modify distribution of an ecosystem on the surface of the material so we can also go inside, work with max stack objects. So we can, like if you have the rocks, you can stack rocks to create pile of the rocks by using this stack or plant hinges or maybe something else. Even clouds, you can paint clouds and stack them a little bit. So you can rotate around. It's great, a little bit more to randomize. Maximum rotation on the around. You also can limit it density if you need it. So if you want placed on a few plants, you want limited density without enable disable limited density it's putting place as many as you hold so it's great nice kind of feel but it will take a lot of um, memory for this because a lot of polygons will create it we can hug underline objects so going over them we can fallout filter currently you can see it's kind of small fallout but you can have a very sharp edge if you modify it 
masks as well applied and apply force settings so instead of this we can says okay this is preset size flow on this so people cannot modify also similar to the terrain editor brushes we have environment that can apply altitude they can apply it okay you can also apply slope and orientation notice in altitude will work with the meters and fastness and some other ones we're going with percent or degrees okay so we want to create a new one it was just overall you can create right here brushes now we have the global settings this is one you can override which is brush radius brush flow fallout flow sometimes you maybe want to decrease increase but how many instances will create at the same time we also have the additional parameters of the scale and limit density many times when i want to populate a lot of painting over i disable limit density or put it 100 percent so it's depend right here we have it selections and you can see new selections so you can add additional selections if you need paint and ecosystem populate currently it's empty so we have it nothing right here so let's go ahead and add we can add rocks plants or object so for the purpose of the tutorial i'm just going to add objects because we can easy see them and as objects i'm going to add red green and blue sphere so let's go add one red sphere next we'll go to add green sphere and it will go next blue sphere so right here you'll notice also it says paint a bit of everything or only selected items so currently i want to paint just everything so right here notice i'm start painting and as i'm going along this is painting for me placing all this instance it's a change size change also randomness what i'm painting and if it was different size you can see it will be rotating them if rotation is specified so currently i'm limited density so it's meaning if i start paint i'm kind of limited say i cannot paint it more right there and in this situation i cannot paint under sometimes you can specify if you want paint under the object okay so next let's go as example we'll go right here and you can see we can have it some additional modifications so if i want paint just the red it says only selected so from this point if i add it will be only red color so you can specify which one you want it we can also erase and in this case again i select only red so notice i'm erasing only the red kind of balls from this okay if we select a bit it will erase everything okay also brush radius so what i want to do next is just slightly modify so example global settings it's look okay but i want maybe just slightly change some modification on this so let's go to populate i want to take scale make it smaller okay and we'll go populate you can see it's size decreasing on this case again you can modify this brush if you need it but i will leave it as a default for now also let's go ahead and deselect paint only on an object and notice right now i can paint on everywhere included terrain okay so also let's go for example only selected we'll have it green we'll just paint green right here okay we'll go blue and only select it so i'll disable limited density so you'll notice i can paint way more so i don't stick right there and we can select limited a little bit bigger and paint around so when we're done with this let's look on some effectors with i raise the single instance it just allowed us to place it one single instant we can so just right here see we can place just single instant we can change colors but what most interesting let's go use a tornado as example so i'll go increase brush radius and just let's flow so you can see right here it's almost creating like tornado twisting there so i can go around on the red actually let's switch to the beat everything so now we can do everything twist around and look right here what's happening so when i go around it's like twisted like tornado we also can um so to organize so if i'm going over you can see it's kind of 
put them in line so it's a factor on this case it's help a little bit more organized and work kind of have it more fun with um yours oh let's do ripple effect right here so overall in the simplicity this is our that we can paint any ecosystem on specific objects we also can select just a single element if we need it remove that element and apply it if we need it directly or manipulate with this object if we need it okay and then notice when i select i can say convert to the object so in this case i took these two spheres out of the ecosystem and create them as two separate objects okay when i'm done for example i can take them reposition modify manipulating with them as i wanted okay and after when i'm done i can revert back an instance so they're now part of this instance that i created i only manipulated with them and this get used useful when you have it for example one tree you paint or you populating and one tree just stick on a corner does not look right you can select it remove it that tree move it around or readjust it and put it back in the ecosystem so again ecosystem is very useful it's optimized and make much easy to work instead this balls you always can use it rocks from rock collections okay you can also use it plants if you needed to populate it okay so example as a plant or you can use it any other your objects and just populate it even clouds or some other objects so you can have a lot of fun to creating this okay so we look on ecosystem painter the other also options you kind of need to look on this it is right here symbols and every time when you see those symbols it's mean you can link them to vicom pad and make it torch or pressure sensitive so i can have it and set how much painting i want to apply based on my from my pad brush so it's become real art to painting to apply those instance and kind of work with them readjusting so this is quite a bit fun to work with ecosystem but beside creating this um, ecosystem you can also create by base it with material editor so let me do very fast so I'm going to delete the ecosystem that we just created and I'm going to go in the sphere next we'll go and open material editor we'll look on this material editor closer in our next tutorials when we start working on this but overall what i want to show you it is right here you can actually create material you can create ecosystem and with ecosystem ways the most powerful happen power it is you can go ahead add elements like rock and you can specify and with one click populated this directly on your object so for example i can have an object placed around okay i can go specify in all these properties for example um let's go around here lean we'll just leave it as this shrink and we can look on all these properties when we're going over um the our material editor i'm just looking general okay we go right here yeah let's pop up density okay we can allow stacking so you can see right here we created a beautiful look with the rocks populating we can even go populate it under okay okay as example 360 populated so we can apply all of this effect okay so we'll look on this properties later when we're going with advanced material but just let you know so ecosystem it's not just one painting the true powerful of ecosystem it's when you can work with material editors apply with function editor and using all of these techniques to create a beautiful scenery automated with without any manual kind of placement it's a lot of time and create a lot of creativity.